great honor and pleasure to be addressing the fourth Scientix conference, bringing together teachers, educators, policymakers, researchers, STEM professionals, and many others from all over Europe to discuss this most important issue on the challenges and opportunities in science education in Europe today, and to explore the potential and possibilities that the Scientix community can bring about. There's no doubt that as the rate of technological change is picking up, it is crucial that we invest in science education and make sure that our students are equipped with the tools they will need to thrive in the future. And it is imperative that we keep in mind that in the year roughly 2040, the year more or less that a child which enters the formal education system today will join the labor market, a whole range of new professions will have emerged and many others that today we take for granted might not even exist. Science education, just like almost all learning, is becoming thus inextricably bound to digital learning and teaching. So please allow me to share with you some key lessons we have learned from our experience in Greece, where we have realized that hardware and software are important, but more important is the health of wider ecosystems that allow teachers, learners and families to leverage new digital tools to advance the goals we ascribe to teaching and learning. This ecosystem must encompass, at the minimum, what we have called the three keys of learning, the three C's, connectivity, content, capacities. We cannot have one without the other. Make no mistake, connectivity is a prerequisite for the future of learning, but so are capacities and good quality content that is easy to find and easy to use. We need all three C's. So please allow me to dive deeper into these three aspects. Number one, ensuring connectivity and learning opportunities for all, with particular intention to including the most marginalized. We have to ensure that the ways in which we link up our schools and the way we teach science is equitable and beneficial for all of our students, regardless of their background. In Greece, we are investing heavily in providing high-speed internet access across the country, as well as placing interactive smart boards and classrooms in all public schools of Greece, which we believe will greatly enhance the quality of education and science education in particular for all, all of our students. Number two, building and maintaining robust and free digital public learning content and platforms. In our digital age, it is vital that every learner, teacher and family can easily find and easily access publicly provisioned and curriculum aligned learning content on the internet. During COVID-19, we saw that many people had connectivity and digital capacities, but could not find free and good quality learning content. Therefore, we need to build learning platforms and content that recognize education as a public and common good. And this is especially the case with science education modules, where it is imperative that high quality public content is created, provided and distributed freely online. To achieve this in Greece, we have revamped all school curricula, upgrading, of course, all science modules so that they're up to date, interactive and ultimately more engaging for students. And number three, focusing on how technology can enhance the cultivation of capacities by enabling evidence based education practices at scale. In many contexts, we have decades of experience about what works and what doesn't work when it comes to learning and teaching and we know how to increase the overall capacities and skills of teachers and students. It is time, however, to get more serious about this evidence base and use in our education systems. And this is particularly true for science education, which can truly be a driver of positive change so that our students are equipped with the skills they need to meet the challenges of the future. In Greece, to offer just one example, we're equipping every kindergarten elementary school with robotic STEM for modules taught in the mandatory curriculum so that our students become familiar with the fundamentals of the new frontiers of scientific research from as early an age as possible. Thank you very much for your attention and wishing everyone a great conference. <music>